Hey, this is Sam here from samnuka.com and I want to thank you all for stopping by and watching this video. Uh, in this video, I wanted to discuss a question that had, been come, that had come up a few days ago from CS77Smith. So, my man, when you uh, watch this video, um, thank you for, for questioning. Um, so, the question was, how do I redirect people to my Weebly website after they put their name and email address into my get response? web form. This is a really legit question because unless you've kind of had time to get around get response um, or any email marketing platform for that matter, it, it is a, a question of, you know, am I doing it right? How do I actually do it? Um, so let's go ahead and get to get a response uh, because that's a platform that uh, I'm using and obviously uh, you are as well. <clears throat> so we click on the login uh, button obviously. And once you've logged in, you come into your start page and essentially what you do is you go up here, right? So first thing we're going to look at is um, on the web forms. So what we do is obviously um, go, go to the manage form so we can see what sort of web forms we're looking at. Um, so these are all the different web forms that I've created uh, throughout this um, online marketing campaign. And from here, uh, you're going to look at what sort of web form and uh, say for example we're going to be working on this one you click on that web form and it brings it up right and so once you get to this stage it's actually really easy you go up to this little screw that you see here you right click on that and it brings up the actual form settings yeah all right so you can see here what I've actually got when let's go back when people opt into this form when they put their email address in the name and click submit what actually happens is it is there is a custom redirection right here so <clears throat> excuse me this here is the default the stay on page um, because it's a web form right so if it's a um, typically a web form is put on a, a blog post um, or something along those lines um, even if it does actually go to a get response page that's cool um, it'll actually just stay on that page and it'll have like a big tick on it like a Nike tick right so what you can do is you can go default and you can also go custom never go default okay it's a terrible option um, custom is a way that you can get onto it so <clears throat> The custom, uh, with custom, it asks you to put in a URL right here as to where it is that you want them to go, okay? So, let's say for example in this case, well obviously in this case what I've set up is because there's a web form on one of my blog posts and I want them when they opt in just to get that tick and to stay on that blog post, okay? Because I essentially want them to revisit my website. So, that's, that's cool, that's all set up just fine. now. If I wanted to send them to a squeeze page, that's that's a different um, idea. This setup is exactly the same, okay, as the web form, um, but obviously it's different here. Now, wh what you want to do as well is when it comes to your subscription settings, just make sure that you have got the right campaign that you set up, right? So Dreamstalkers Inc. is my my uh, my standard one where people opt in for the um, for the blog updates um, and stuff like that but this here for example is when they sign up for a free email marketing book this one here is for the free email uh, marketing course and this here is for the free keyword research um, video that I put together right so you just make sure that you've got the correct campaign and you click on custom once once it goes custom, it asks for something to be put in here, and you put the URL, in this case, your Weebly website URL, in there. And once you're done, go up to the top here and click Save, and you're done, right? So, and then obviously what you want to do from there is, um, is go ahead and save and publish, okay? And that's actually going to make what you've put together official. Okay, so if we want to test this out, man, this is what you want to do, okay? Um, you can obviously put the Java uh, script code into um, your website and go ahead and set it up that way, but a quick and easy way to test it is just click on Get Responsible Host My Web Form, okay? And then what we want to do is copy this here, click here to copy, and then we will paste it in here. Then this is the web form obviously that we've put together. So I'm just going to test this out so you guys can see that it actually works. Now it says here you're already subscribed, which is true. Um, so obviously in this case people will have a choice to go don't proceed or sign up again. We'll just go sign up again so we can see what people would actually see without if they've never actually signed up before. And you see how it's redirected to my website, samnuku.com, just like we had um, 
done back in the web form creator yeah so um, what we can do is let's, let's just put in a custom link um, just to just to make sure that uh, well in case you want to put in a custom link rather than just a standard website say you wanted to redirect them to a specific blog post or to a thank you page that you have put together just for them um, what you want to do is you click save up here Again, it's very easy, right? Because all we're doing this time is replacing the URL that we want to go to. And I'm going to send them to my blog post that says, Write Headlines at Work. So click Save. Then uh, Save and Publish. You must save and publish every time you create something, okay? So copy. We're going to come in here. We're going to sign up again. Name email and name sorry and the other way around and label whatever that means already subscribed so we'll go sign up again once I sign up should redirect us there you go and it's redirected us straight back to our blog post how cool is that right so that's it man I, I hope this video was very very helpful for you and for everybody else who's watched this video I really do hope that this has helped you in some way shape or form um, if you're looking at get response and and you know thinking about whether you should get involved or not I'd urge you to sign up to my email marketing course where I walk you through from day one to day five um, essentially five different modules varying from 10 to uh, 11 to 19 minutes long pure content showing you how exactly to go setting everything up step by step and more importantly how you can start email marketing like a pro and turning followers into subscribers and subscribers into raving customers all right so i thank you again for stopping by and watching this video i'll talk to you all soon